the longtime executive director of the American Junior Golf Association, who has dedicated more than three decades to the overall growth and development of junior golf. Your 2018 Georgia Golf Hall of Fame inductee, Stephen Hamblin. Through the game of golf, many have built strong relationships. For Stephen Hamblin, it brought him closer to his grandfather. I actually had a kidney operation and could no longer play contact sports. Uh, and so got into golf. And uh, grandfather taught me, great teacher, very patient man. That's how golf came into my life. While attending Michigan State University, Hamblin spent his summers working for head golf professional Jay Overton at Pinehurst Resort. Hamblin impressed Overton, and after graduating, was recruited to work with him at Innisbrook Country Club. It was really interesting to start how I started at Innisbrook because I had to fill out some paperwork uh, to be an employee of, of Innisbrook. And when I got down there, before I even started, they handed me some paperwork and it said, um, Stephen Hamlin, uh, cart boy. And I, I said, well, I, I'm going to be an assistant golf professional. I'm not a cart boy. I go, well, mm, I'm not going to sign this. And she calls Jay. Says, Jay, Stevens here, won't sign the employment papers. Can you come down? So Jay gets me on the phone. Why don't you sign the papers? I said, it says cart boy. I'm here to be an assistant golf professional. She says, just sign it. No. Drives down in his in his cart that went like 50 miles an hour. You can hear the tires squeal, you know, outside the employment office. He comes in, he scratches out real hard, cart boy, writes in assistant golf professional, and he says, sign it. And that's how I started at Innisbrook. Hamblin's talent would again get noticed in 1984, this time by the American Junior Golf Association. I think the biggest highlight I've always had, and I've said this, is is uh, hiring Stephen. He's been a mentor to, to our uh, staff, uh, which has grown from, I think, over the last 30 years to almost 100 today. We had, I think, three employees, uh, Chris Hack, myself, Gordon Dalglish, and, uh, you know, we didn't have sponsors, we didn't have junior AMs, but there was always this uh, the mission and purpose has always been the same. It's, it's give kids exposure for college golf scholarship. What Steve Hamlin has done uh, over the course of the last uh, 35 years is, is truly remarkable. When the 29-year-old Hamlin took the post in 1984, the AJGA hosted 13 tournaments and had 1,100 members. Today, the AJGA hosts more than 100 events across the country with more than 6,000 members. If you look around the golf industry, many stem from the Hamblin lineage. He pioneered the AJGA internship program, which has grown into a one-of-a-kind experience. We are able to introduce to the golf industry some very talented young men and women. So we train really hard, we work really hard, and at the end of a three-year stint with the AJGA, I think they're ready for anything. I really do, and and it's it's and it's been proven. Uh, from whole cloth, he created uh, the leading junior golf association anywhere in the world, and it is his tireless effort over that period of time that has resulted in where the AJGA is today. He has a tremendous knack of being able to uh, pick out people and get the most out of them. With so many successes over his tenure as executive director, it's nearly impossible to pinpoint one single achievement. But in terms of impact, the ACE grant program ranks near the top. We, we simply wanted to address the inequity of a young man or young woman who had the talent to play on the national level but didn't have the financial wherewithal. Many of those uh, Young people now have been able to go on to college, graduate from college, even uh, uh, one uh, has uh, uh, gone into the professional ranks and, uh, and has been very successful. Stephen Hamblin's entire career has been defined by serving others. 
and there's no doubt the AJGA will continue to serve this great game for generations to come. You're in the game because you love it. You're in the game because you love the people, the places. I always want the AJGA to be uh, a benefit to whatever community we go into.